Harold D. Stolovich, Telling Ain't Training. Dive into the fascinating world of effective training techniques with the book summary of A Telling Ain't Training by Harold D. Stolovich. Discover how people learn best when they are actively engaged, participating and able to apply new knowledge to their everyday activities. In this summary, you'll explore the differences between training, instruction, and education, as well as the importance of prioritizing the learner's needs over content. Learn about human learning traits, such as how we process information through our five senses and filter out irrelevant information. Grasp the significance of understanding the differences between expert and novice learners and recognizing adult learners' specific needs as you embark on this instructive journey. Effective Training Techniques Training people involves more than presenting information. People learn best when actively engaged in a hands-on approach that they trust can be applied to their everyday lives. Unfortunately, most trainers rely on verbal instructions in formal settings, ignoring the fundamental principles of learning. To truly engage learners and improve their retention, trainers should allow opportunities for practice, demonstration, and informal learning environments. People absorb information presented in organized categories and visual images. By adopting these principles, trainers can provide effective training techniques that ensure learners acquire and retain new knowledge. Three Paths of Learning Learning can take three forms, training, instruction, and education. Training produces automatic responses, instruction broadens understanding to adapt to new situations, while education creates broad mental models and value systems. A mix of these approaches can be used for effective teaching. Focusing on learners' needs and concerns makes teaching more effective than simply transmitting information. Facilitating learning transformation. Humans acquire information through their senses and filter out irrelevant data. The short-term memory can hold only a limited number of items before it disappears. To facilitate learning transformation, incorporate multiple senses into the learning experience and avoid overwhelming learners with irrelevant pieces of information. Learning is not just about conveying information but facilitating transformation. To help learners change, it is crucial to understand how humans acquire information. According to the book, people acquire information through their senses, including sight, hearing, smell, touch, and taste. Sight contributes to about 80% of the information people take in, followed by hearing at 10%. However, Incorporating multiple senses into the learning experience can aid in the retention of information. People also filter out irrelevant information to avoid information overload, making it essential to present relevant information consciously and unconsciously. The book also highlights that the short-term memory can only hold new information for 10 to 15 seconds before it disappears unless further processed. The capacity of the short-term memory is limited to no more than 5 to 9 items of information. People can remember more when several pieces of information are combined. For instance, acronyms are easier to remember than separate pieces of information. Learning facilitators must treat all learners with respect by avoiding insulting learners with irrelevant information and incorporating multiple senses into the learning process to facilitate learning transformation. Differences in learning types Experts process information differently than novices, and knowledge is either declarative or procedural. Adult learners learn best when they take charge of their learning. To train novices more effectively, use transformative procedural knowledge. Learning ability, prior knowledge, motivation, mood, and confidence level also affect the learning process. Effective teaching principles for adults to improve learning outcomes and make them more relevant to adult learners, it is essential to incorporate adult learning principles into the class structure. According to Malcolm Knowles, a leading figure in adult education, there are four crucial principles that are key to teaching adults in a work setting. These are readiness, experience, autonomy, and action. Adult learners are typically ready to learn when they have a problem to solve or want to develop themselves personally or professionally. To create a positive learning experience, 
it's essential to acknowledge and build on the knowledge and experience that adult learners bring to the classroom. Adult learners feel more engaged and motivated when they feel in charge of their learning. Therefore, it's essential to encourage them to be active participants in the learning process. To ensure that learning is applicable and memorable, it's important to integrate new knowledge with prior experience and to provide opportunities for learners to apply what they learn in real-life situations. As a result, effective teaching involves facilitating the transformation of learners and not only transmitting information. Six Principles of Effective Learning This book summary offers six principles to create an effective training session, based on research on learning. First, always explain why the material is being taught and give early guidelines. Additionally, organizing material into structured and active elements, creating feedback to encourage performance, and offering rewards for positive efforts may also lead to smoother learning. The five-step learning model suggests explaining the rationale and performance objectives, making learning activities more interesting and fun for the learners, evaluating learners' performance, and providing feedback. Finally, use cognitive strategies, such as clustering information, offering spatial methods, utilizing advanced organizers, using image-rich comparisons, repeating, and employing memory aids to focus on the learning process and improve learners' recall. To create a successful learning session or program, use the aforementioned principles as a planning sheet to ensure learners engage in an organized and meaningful way, understand objectives, and learn in an interesting and engaging manner. Effective Methods for Training The most effective training methods are guided discovery and exploratory learning because they promote individualized, meaningful learning. Receptive training, which simply presents information, is the least effective. Direct training involves directing learners towards a goal through the use of learning blocks or units. Guided discovery allows learners to obtain information independently by focusing on cases, scenarios, or problems, while exploratory learning entails learners taking charge of their learning environment. To keep learners engaged, various techniques like role-playing and memory-based card games should be employed. Finally, testing should be challenging enough to assess learning and motivate learners to retain more. Having delved into the insightful world of a telling ain't training, it's time to wrap up the key takeaways. Remember the distinction between training, instruction, and education and the importance of creating a learner-centered approach. Gain a deeper understanding of human learning traits and how to cater to those effectively. As we highlighted, accounting for adult learning principles and utilizing various effective training techniques are essential steps to ensure you're facilitating transformative learning experiences. With these valuable insights in mind, you now possess a clearer comprehension of effective teaching methods and are better equipped to go forth and create meaningful learning environments that foster lasting, transformative experiences.